Hey guys, welcome back. I am so glad you're here. Okay, so what we're doing today is a 40 minute glutes and hamstrings hit. We're gonna work those glutes and those hamstrings in a lot of fun activities and keep our heart rate moving and pumping through that entire time. So I have my medium to my heavy dumbbells. I have my 15 and 20 pound dumbbells and then I have one 25 pound dumbbell just for when I'm doing one dumbbell activities. I'm also gonna use an elevated surface and a slider on a few activities, but if you don't have that, don't worry. I'll show you how to modify, but don't forget your own sweat towel, your drink, and of course your great attitude, and let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to grab your weights and an elevated surface and slider if you needed them and had them. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just doing some nice, good little squats right here. Woo, getting those legs warmed up for today. <laughs> We've got three more, two more. Last one, now this time we're gonna hinge down and drive forward, hinge down, drive forward, keeping those knees fairly straight. So we're starting to glide those hamstrings. Oh, and feeling good. We've got three more like this, two more. Last one, this time you're gonna take those hands all the way down and you're gonna drive them forward. Okay, it's driving from that hip. Yep, just like a kettlebell swing. Down and drive. And we've got three, two, last one. Now, I want you to come down. I want you to grab your toes. Try to see if you can pull them up. And then you're going to sit on down and then drive on up. Sit on down, drive on up. Now, you may not be able to grab those toes, that's okay. I want you to grab as low as you can go and you're just moving those hips and we got the last one. Now, I want you to sit down low and I want you to rock back and forth. Now, like I said, you may be up here, that's okay. I want you to go as low as you can. I want you really working on opening up those hips. We've got three more, two more. Last one, now you're gonna come right up here and we're gonna glide to each side. Getting that butt back, getting that inner thigh, right? We still have to get all that hip movement in there. We've got three more, two more. Now this time we're gonna sit down and we're gonna go as low as we can go. And again, you pop that foot up and back and forth. Ooh, yeah. And then up and over to the other side, down. Can you pop that foot up? Again, not all of us are gonna have the same mobility. That's okay. And come on up, oh yeah. We're gonna go right here, we're gonna do some trunk rotation. Okay, we gotta move that trunk. Okay, to open up that hip too. Three more, two more, last one. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, we're gonna go right here, down and up in that lunge, oh yeah. Three, two, last one. We're gonna go down, drop that back knee, and we're gonna slide it forward, slide back and get that hamstring. Slide forward, get that hip flexor. Slide back, get that hamstring. And three, two, and then we're gonna stay right up here on this last one. And you're gonna take that hand and you're gonna go all the way around and back. So we're starting to open up that hip a little bit more. Trunk rotation, even getting that shoulder in there. Three, two, Last one. Oh yeah, now we're gonna go to the other side, right here. Down and up in that lunge. Oh, feeling so good. We've got three, two, last one. Drop that back knee, and then you're gonna rock. Give me that hamstring. Come on up, get that hip flexor. Rock on back, get that hamstring, and we've got two more. Last one right here. Hold, and you're gonna go right back and circle. Right back and circle, and we've got two more of these. Yes, and last one. Oh yeah, we're gonna go right here into quadruped. We're gonna keep those feet flexed. We're gonna drive that hip, that heel right towards that ceiling and really squeeze that glute for me. We're gonna activate that baby. Okay, we're not gonna tire it out. We're just gonna activate it. and Make sure we're saying, wake up. Two more. Last one, now we're gonna go out to the side and squeeze. And squeeze, oh yeah, woohoo! Last one, now we're gonna go the other side, up and drive. Let that really drive towards that ceiling, really squeeze that glute, squeeze that baby. Three, two, last one, now out to the side and squeeze. Oh yeah, three, two, 
one. Now we're gonna go right here into plank, push into downward dog, pump those heels, okay, getting those hamstrings and getting those calves stretched out. Oh, that feels so good. And we're gonna walk that all the way up. Hang right here, drop your head. Nice, good hamstring stretch again. Okay, now we're gonna take that right arm. We're gonna take it to the ceiling. We're gonna roll that wrist. Roll it the other way. Come on down. Take the left hand up towards the ceiling. Roll the wrist. Roll it up. All the way up. Let me tell you what we're doing. Okay, first activity is we're gonna do a staggered deadlift. Okay, so I'm gonna use my right leg first. My left leg's gonna be back. I'm gonna hinge down and up. Just working on that right leg. And I'm gonna hinge right here, down and up. Then. I'm going to do a extension kick right here. Okay, and just doing extension. I'm gonna do the other leg. Then I'm gonna combine it, extend two and then two. Okay, and then we'll do a hit part afterwards. So let's start with that staggered lunge, or staggered deadlift. We're doing that right, um, right foot first. Here we go, roll our shoulders back. Staggered in three, two, one. Hinge down, drive forward. Okay, keeping that right there over nice good hinge okay my most of my weight is on that right side okay that back side is just there to give me some balance okay down and up down and up hinge and drive okay i'm keeping fairly straight knee i'm hinging through that hip and driving forward keeping a nice neutral spawn you've got 10 more seconds of this down and up oh yeah and five Four, three, two, one. Now, you can drop your weights if you want right here and hold on and do your extensions or you can just have that little hinge. That's up to you. Okay, we're gonna do the left side. Now, ready? Three, two, one. Kick that leg back. I want that heel, that foot flexed and I wanna drive that heel towards the ceiling and really squeeze that glute. Okay, squeeze and squeeze. We'll do the opposite on the second round, okay? Down and squeeze. And then the next set we're gonna do is we are going to do two deadlifts, two leg extensions, okay? That's our next activity. We're gonna combine the two, and then we're gonna do a little bit of an activity where we drop the weight, get the heart rate up there. Come on, 15 more seconds of this, and squeeze. Really picture squeezing that glute. Drive and squeeze. Push that knee extension, full knee extension, drive that heel in three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna do two, and I'm gonna be in that low position if I can, and do two extensions. Now, it's okay if you drop that weight like we just did with that extension. I just want you to push yourself. Here we go, three, two, one, down, twice. And then I go down, and I'm gonna lift twice. Oh yeah, down, and then if you can, hold it and kick. Ooh, baby, working that balance. Yeah, you know how I like that. Ooh, it's also working my right side, that glute a little bit more to stabilize as I kick that leg up. Absolutely, we've got 15 more seconds of this. Ooh, come on. My right side on fire. 10 more seconds, let's go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take that right foot forward, I'm gonna step back and drive, and I wanna explode, deck, and up. Now, give me a hop, give me an explosion, you don't have to hop, but you have to explode in three, two, one, step back and drive, step back and drive. Okay, keeping that right foot forward, driving through that left knee. I'm just stepping back a little bit, keeping most of that weight on that right side, and then driving through that right side, and up, down, and up, and drive. Use those arms. Even if you're not, if you're just coming up to those toes, down, and up, down, and up. You're exploding, and you're driving. Come on. Getting that heart rate up there. Still working that right side. Come on. Keep it up in 10 more seconds. You're almost there. Oh, yeah. Come on in five, four, three, two, one and rest. My right glute's on fire. Okay, the left side, okay? Hinging down and up. Then going down and doing the extension on the right side, then combining. Grab those weights. 
Roll those shoulders back in three, two, one. Hinge down, drive forward, oh yeah. Hinge, drive through that hip. If you are feeling this in your low back, you are pulling in the wrong spot. Okay, so I need you to drop your weight and focus on that form. You can lift that back leg if you want to, or stay in that staggered. I'm kind of staying in that staggered when I know I'm gonna lift that weight on that third activity. Come on, down and up, 15 seconds left. Woo! 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna put my weights down. I'm gonna have a nice good hinge back. I'm gonna drive that heel back. Keep that knee really extended. Push that extension, push that heel flexion. Here we go, three, two, one. You're gonna feel that kick in more. If you really push that knee straight and flex that foot, drive that heel towards the ceiling and squeeze. Right there and squeeze. Woo, baby, come on. You'll feel a difference if you really push to extension on that knee versus just having a slight extension, okay? Push through that heel, drive it up. Picture squeezing that glute. When we picture what we're activating, much more effective. Okay, keep it going. You got 10 more seconds of this, and then we're gonna combine it. Yes, combine in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. So I'm gonna hinge down, okay? And I'm gonna hinge down, and I'm gonna do two leg lifts. Here we go. Roll those shoulders back. Here we go, in three, two, one. I'm gonna hinge down, one, two, and two, lifts, and back. One, hinge down, two, lifts. Oh yeah, working that glute to stabilize you. Absolutely, working that balance again. If you can't stabilize in that position, that's okay. Drop that weight to do that. That's okay. Keep moving. Push your body where you can go. And one side may be a little easier. This is a little harder for me than it was on the other side. Could be because it's fatigued. Just maybe not quite as balanced and strong on this side. But I'm working. And I'm keeping that form. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Drop those weights. Now we're keeping that left foot forward and we're gonna drive that right leg back and up. This is it. Water break after this in three, two, one. Step back and drive. And drive, come on down and up. Woo, yeah. Come on, get that heart right up there. You got water break after this. Yes, we love that, right? <laughs> come on, down and up. Drive through that front heel and up down, up to that toe, okay? So we shift from that heel to that toe and we explode. It's that weight shift. It's challenging. It's driving us as power. Keep it up. 10 more seconds. Yes. Woo. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Love that word, right? <laughs> Grab some water, let me show you what we're doing next. Okay, we are gonna be in a wide stance and we're gonna do a lateral shift right here. Boom, and boom, okay? So when I do that, I'm gonna sit my butt back, push you that heel, sit my butt back, push you that heel. Now, I'm going to take that weight and I'm gonna shift it from side to side. You can keep it together, that's up to you. Second activity, in that wide stance, we're gonna do a nice good wide deadlift. Then the last one, this third one, shift, down, shift, combine that, okay? And then we'll do some lateral fun activities. This is where I'm using my one dumbbell. I'm gonna be in that wide stance. Let's get in position in three, two, one. So I'm shifting down, push through that heel. Now I'm switching hands with my weight. You can decide if you wanna keep the weight with both hands, that's up to you. I'm shifting, I'm put, trying to touch pretty close down to my heel and back. Keeping that weight, pushing through that heel. Come on, you're gonna feel that hamstring and that glute. Work that way and push, come on. 
Whew, 15 more seconds of this. I think we're gonna stay in that position and do the wide deadlift. You got this in five, four, three, two. Last one and rest. Okay, right here. Wide stance, hinge at that hip, drive it forward. Okay, nice good wide deadlift, nice neutral spine in three, two, one, hinge down, drive forward, hinge down, drive forward. Whew. Yep, we are gonna do a combined movement on the next set. <laughs> down, push through those hips, come on, and glide. Oh yeah, woo, come on, drive through those hips. You're halfway there. Heart rate already up there, right? Yeah. <laughs> or is it just me? Down and up. And 10 more seconds. Drive forward, drive, push those hips and drive them all the way into that extension in three, two, one, and rest. I'm going down. Then I'm doing a wide deadlift. Then I'm going to the other side. That's our pattern in three, two, one. Push down, wide stance. Push over, wide stance, come on. Hinge at that hip, drive to the side. Hinge at the hip, drive to the side, come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna drop the weight for the last activity. Okay, get that heart rate up there. Whoop, I forgot my middle. <laughs> Down and up. Hinge and drive. Down and up. Hinge and drive with the last eight, five, six, <laughs> three, two, one. I have no idea what I just did with counting on that one. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes my brain. Okay. We are going to stay low and we're going to bound to each side. Okay. Can you touch down to the floor and bound? If you don't want to, you're going to go low into a glide, okay? No hop, but glide in low position in three, two, one, down. So I'm either bounding or I'm stepping low in that glide. Can you put a bound to it? Maybe just one, okay, push that self, okay? When we can't just start jumping, we have to start with one rep. The next time we do two or three, okay? You gotta get that body adjusted to it, but keep pushing your body can do more. A lot of times our limitations is not our body, but our mind. Come on, 10 more seconds. Stay working within your body though. Come on, you got this in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Yes, I counted that much better. <laughs> okay, back to that wide stance, lateral lunge glides. Ooh, I gotta grab some water. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Down and push. Down and push. Woo! Push through that heel. Drive that hip back. Okay? I want a nice glide. Pushing through that hip. Sitting it back like you're sitting on a chair. Then driving through that hip. Hand down. Come on. Woo. 15 more seconds. And up. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, staying in that wide stance. We're hinging down, driving forward. Are you ready? Catch that breath for just a second. And here we go in three, two, one. Hinge down, drive forward. Hinge down, drive forward. Ooh, baby, come on, you got this. Hinge down, drive forward. Come on, halfway there. Driving through that hip, pushing that hip down, driving it forward, hinging down. And then the next round, next activity is that combined movement, right? Come on, down. 
10 more seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're going down. We're pushing off, hinging down, pushing off, hinging down, and we've got three, two, one. Hinge down, hinge it, push to the side, and hinge. Push to the side, and hinge. Come on. Oh, yeah, down. And hinge. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, hell, baby, come on. You're halfway there. Over halfway. How's that sound? Yes. <laughs> come on. You've only got 10 more seconds left. Hang in there and hinge. Then we're dropping that weight. We're going to do those lateral bounds in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Drop that weight. Here we go. Lateral blounds or those glides. That's up to you. And here we go in three, two, one, down and over. Bound and over. Come on. Keep moving. Keep shaking. You got this. Oh, yeah. Staying low. Staying low. Pushing off that heel and down. Push off that heel. When you push that heel off, you are going to feel that glute activate. That's what we want. Come on. That's a powerhouse back there. Okay, that's our power. That's why you see sprinters have these big bubble butts. That's because they're using that power back there. Okay, I'm not producing a power butt, a big butt, bubble butt necessarily, but I'm just saying it's a powerhouse. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am gonna use my elevated service for one of the activities on this. First activity. Whew. I am going to do a swing right here. Boom. I'm gonna take two weights and put it right there. Then I'm gonna take those two weights. I'm gonna squat low to my surface, come up half the way, squat down on my surface, and down. Then I'm gonna drop one dumbbell. I'm gonna swing it and squat. Switch sides, swing it and squat. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna finish out with some prisoners. Okay, we're gonna go down. We're gonna be our hands back. We're gonna go right here. Up, down, down, and up. Down to hinge, down and up. So we're gonna start with that hinge first. Don't worry, I'll show you everything. We got weights on either side and we're gonna swing them. Here we go in three, two, one. Drive back, swing up. Come on, swing. I'm gonna drop my weights. I wanna make sure I keep that form that whole time. Come on, drive back and up. Drive and up. You got this. Drive through those hips. Keep that form, and if you're starting to feel that in your back, that means you need to drop your weight until you get that form down. Come on, keep driving. Drive through those hips. I am not lifting with my arms, I'm guiding with my arms. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm putting those weights right here on my shoulders. I'm gonna sit down all the way to my surface, come up halfway. Sit back down in three, two, one. I'm gonna go down, halfway up, touch down. I'm not sitting all the way down. I'm not coming all the way to sit. Okay, I'm gonna touch that bottom, and then I'm gonna come halfway. Touch that bottom, come halfway. Whoo, yeah. Okay, keeping that tension on there. Driving through those heels. Keep that back nice and upright and strong. Drive through those heels, come on. And boom, and down, boom. And down, we've got 15 more seconds. If you're like me, you're sweating bullets, right? <laughs> Come on, you got this. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm gonna grab one weight. We're just gonna do the right side. I don't wanna alternate. We're gonna take that weight. We're gonna drive it up to that shoulder. We're gonna squat down. Take that weight, drive it up to that shoulder in three, two, one. So same thing, now we're hinging between our knees and we're sitting back and squatting. Okay, drive through that hip, 
to that, to the shoulder. Sit back on those hips, over those glutes. I mean, over those heels. Dig through those heels to activate that glute. Come on, drive and sit. Oh yeah, drive and sit. You're almost there. You're halfway. You're over halfway. That sound good? Then we're gonna go to the prisoner. I don't know why I started on tall kneel. A lot of times I do that with prisoner. We aren't gonna do tall kneel. We're gonna do a, a prisoner position means we're having those hands behind our head. That's all that means in four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so I'm gonna put that, those hands. I'm gonna hinge down into a deadlift, drive up. I'm gonna squat down. I'm gonna hop up or explode up onto my toes. Oh yeah, that's what I just said in three, two, one, hinge down. Drive forward, squat, and hop. Hinge forward, drive, squat, explode up onto the toes. Hinge down, drive forward, down, and up. You do not have to jump, but you do have to explode. Give me some power behind that, down, and up. And yeah, it's all coming from those legs, because I took your arms out of it. <laughs> oh yeah, down, and up, let's go. Woo, come on, you've got, 12 more seconds. You can do it. And then we're going back to those hinges. Okay, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going back to those two-sided hinges, okay? Either side, and drive. Whew, and I'm catching my breath, right? Man, this is challenging. Okay, so we're coming down, hinging and driving in three, two, one, hinge down. Drive forward, okay? That drive, guess what? Using those hamstrings and glutes. Say, what? <laughs> oh, that's right, that's what we're working on. <laughs> Sit down, drive forward. <laughs> Sit down, drive forward. There, your arms are going along for the swing. The action's coming from those hips. Those strong glutes and hammies are working. And drive, come on. 15 more seconds. <sighs> Keep it going, come on, you got this. Hang in there in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going down and we're sitting halfway, or we're sitting down, touching our bottom to that low surface, coming up halfway, sitting our bottom down on that low surface. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, tap down, halfway, tap down. Halfway, that's just to give you a visual cue. You don't have to have that bench there. But for me, it's giving that visual cue of where I go. Tap down. It encourages me to go lower than I probably would otherwise, right? Sometimes we're saying like, oh yeah, I'm halfway. No, down and up, come on. Keep moving down and up. Come on, 15 more seconds of these babies. Push through those heels, down and up. Come on, push. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm doing the one weight now. I'm gonna do that left side. I'm gonna drive it through my middle, okay? Hinging down, driving it up to that shoulder, driving my hips back to squat in three, two, one. Hinge and squat, okay? Drive and squat, oh yeah, Whew. drive, and squat, come on, you got this, Whew. oh yeah, hinge down, drive forward, yes, halfway there, Whew. and guess what, water break after this, and then we only have one more activity, we're gonna be using the bench for a couple of those activities, okay, we're gonna bridge off of it, and bridge up to it. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, so next activity, if we gotta finish strong, we gotta do that deadlift to that low squat with the explosion, all with our hands behind our heads, right? Make it fun. Three, two, one, hinge down, come back, squat, explode. Hinge down, drive forward, come down, explode, 
explode, okay? None of this wimpy stuff of just coming up. Go down, come up, explode. Get onto those toes. You have to have enough explosion. You have to drive up to those toes. Hinge, down, up, explode. Hinge, down, woo, baby. We've got 12 more seconds. Oh yeah, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, that's enough for me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go set my mat just a little bit like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I may need to make my mat a little bit more. Okay, getting myself all situated. You do not have to have a slider because you may not have this work, that's okay. Okay, I'm going to do, I don't think I can do it that way. I have to go back just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go off of my mat. I'm gonna have a nice tall bridge and I'm gonna slide this foot with my slider in and out, okay? In and out. If you want to, I'm gonna add a weight to that. Okay, that's our first activity. Then we're gonna turn around. We're gonna put our bottom and our feet up there. Let's get in position. We're gonna do that right side. If you don't have it, you're just gonna walk that foot out. Here we go, three, two, one, so either sliding it or you're walking that right foot out, walking it in. Either way, in and out. Keeping that tall bridge. Okay, my glutes are activated and then I'm using those hamstrings to drive that in and out. Oh yeah, come on. Nice tall position, let's go. Woo, we're halfway there. Drive it in. Come on, drive it in. Oh yeah. Woo. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. That's the last I'm doing with that slider. Okay, we'll do it with our second round. Okay, we're gonna go down. Now we're gonna lay on our back. Put our feet up onto the bench. And we're gonna do a single leg bridge on that right side. Here we go. We're gonna bridge right up to it. Three, two, one, up and down, up and down. If you don't have an elevated surface, you're just doing it from the floor, okay? It just makes it a little bit hard challenging if you have an elevated surface. Come on, you got this, up and down. Then the next two activities, we're gonna be in that crab position. Yeah, burning that out. Come on, 15 more seconds. I don't know about you, but I am sweating bullets. Woo! It was cold in my gym this morning. So I didn't put the fan on, but now I'm just sweating bullets. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, now we're gonna go to that crab position. Maybe I'll show you from here. Okay, we're gonna drive that knee in and out. Actually, we're gonna do it with that left side, so we work that right side still. Drive that left in and out. That's our, that's our plan. Three, two, one, in and out, in, and out, come on, drive that all the way to the extension and down. Oh yeah, you're gonna feel that right side. Kick in, baby, come on, down and up. Come on, you got this, Woo yeah. Down and drive, you're halfway there, oh yeah. Down and drive, oh yes, woo, come on. I feel that burn, <laughs> oh, 10 more seconds, down. And up, and we've got five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, okay. Last one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do two, four crab kicks, and then we're gonna go up and do two bridges. Okay, you may be only be able to step or kick. Let's rock it, whatever we do. I'm gonna go this way so I don't kick anything. Three, two, one, four kicks, and then two, Crab bridges, four, kicks, two, bridges, touch down and up, come on. Touch down and up, squeeze those inner thighs and your glutes as you lift. Boom, boom, now now, kick, and down, and squeeze, down, and squeeze. All we have left is one more of each of these activities, that's it. We've gotta work that left side a little bit more, right? Our right side is worked. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 
Okay, I'm going back to that slide. Woo. I'm gonna slide with that left side or walk it out with that left side. Either one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Slide it in and drive through that heel. I want that sliding in and out through that heel. The farther you're out, the harder it is, okay? The more you're supported by the upper back, the easier it is. Keep that glute activated, nice and tall. I don't want to dip. I want it nice and tall. Come on. Woo. And I'm sweating bullets, and I'm loving it because I know I'm working hard. We're over halfway. Thank goodness. Slide it in, drive it back. Slide it out, drive it back. Then we're gonna go turn around, we're gonna get on our back. We're gonna do a single leg bridge on that left side. You better believe it. In four, three, two, one, and a rest. Love that word. Whew. My bench is all sweaty from my back there. That's okay. I'm going down, getting that left side up there. Do a single side bridge. Get in position. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift up, come down. Drive through that heel all the way up. Slow it down. Notice I'm not dropping down, I'm slowing it down. That's the challenge, going against gravity and controlling that baby. Dig through that heel and lift. Yes, dig through that heel and lift. You got it. You're doing awesome. Hang in there. You've got 15 more seconds on this side. Woo. Oh yeah. Come on, up and down. Oh yeah, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Oh goodness, love that word. Okay, we're going back to that crab position. Woo. No weight needed. Okay, we're gonna drive through that left side and we're gonna use that right side to drive, working that left. Three, two, one. So I'm driving through my right knee up and down, which is working that left side. Up and down, oh yeah. It is tired and already sore. If you need to, shake it out, come back in, come on. We're pushing, we'll have one more activity after this, right? Just that crab kicks with the glute bridges in that crab position, let's go. Come on, I told you we're already over halfway. Isn't that encouraging? Well, what if I told you we only have 10 more seconds of this? Oh yes, come on in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, that is sore. Okay, we're gonna finish out with those four crab kicks, two bridges, and we're gonna just rock this. Here we go in three, two, one. Kick, 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 and down and squeeze, and squeeze, come on and kick. Feels good to get that kind of moving. Okay, it's been sore, get that blood flow going to that baby. Absolutely, up and squeeze. Oh yeah, come on, woo, and squeeze. You're gonna squeeze those inner thighs just a little bit too. Okay, bonus, how about that? In, <laughs> you're over halfway. Woo. Thank goodness, right? Down and up. Keep it going. You're doing awesome, 10 more seconds. You can do it. I believe in you. I know you can finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my word. Take that leg, cross it over, and hug that baby up to your chest. Let's get that glute stretched out. Oh, does that need it, right? <laughs> yes. Woo. Now cross it over, walk it up, kind of get that outer thigh, push through that ankle into that knee, really opening up that hip. Oh, that feels so good, right? Oh yeah. Okay, bring it down. Other side, cross it over, hug it up to you. You're gonna see one side's probably tighter than the other. This side's tighter for me right now. Oh yeah. Bringing that breath down and then cross that over. Walk that baby up. Oh yeah. Woo. Opening up that hip. Absolutely. We're gonna go do a long sit. Take those hands up. Hinge forward through those hips. Feel those hamstrings touch it. Okay, when we do this, we tend to do our back. Okay, we're hinging through that hip. Driving forward and getting that nice, good hamstring stretch. Oh yeah, 
Now, can you pull back a little bit more? Give me an active stretch. Push those knees down. Let's go. I'm stretch out. Yes. Okay, this time we're going to do a 90-90. So we're going to do a 90 and a 90 on our hip. We're going to have some gap in there, okay? And we're going to cut through the middle and hinge forward. Try to drop both hips. You're going to feel both hips stretching on this. Oh, this is such a good stretch. Okay, so you, you tend to want to go over one knee. I want you to go right through that middle and try to work on pushing both knees down. Oh yeah, challenge, challenge. Come up, now we're flipping sides. Okay, 90 and 90, cut in the middle, come down, and this is where I definitely am not even. I am much tighter this direction, absolutely. Come on up. We're gonna do a wide stance. We're gonna hang right here and finish out with these hamstrings. We're gonna walk to the right side and we're gonna grab that. Give it a little tug. We're gonna walk it to the left side. We're gonna give it a little tug. We're gonna drop our head and we're gonna say three, two, one. Hinge up. Give yourself a high five for rocking that and have a great day. <laughs> Hey, did you love that workout? Oh man, do I have something for you. If you're like me, like most women, you're so busy, it's hard to find time to figure out which video to do and when. Stop that searching, I have something for you. I have a 10 day busy woman fit challenge. It is designed to work that entire body to look better, to feel better, and to move better, all with minimal equipment and minimal time so you can fit this in into your busy schedule. All you need to do is click the first link in the description below, enter your name and email, and I'll instantly send you that 10 day calendar to make it a two week challenge for you to get fit in a time frame that makes sense for you. So make sure you grab that link. Also hit the notification bell and the subscribe button so you never miss one of my future workouts. So you can always have options out there. So grab the link, set yourself up. I will see you there. And have a great day!